Welcome back to a new episode of our series about linuxmuster.net. My name is Stefan from openschoolsolutions.org and today we are doing the initial configuration, the initial setup for our Linux Muster server. So here we have our server and we're going to log in. Oops. Admin local, the user we set up before in the last video and our password. Okay, good. So we're now logged in. Here we see a short summary about our packages, our Linux Muster packages. And there are two ways to do our setup. We can use the web interface, the web UI, or we can do it here on the server. So first we use the web interface and then we do the same setup again here on our server. Okay, so if we want to use the web interface, we again need um, a client in the same network. Um, we use again our Ubuntu, uh, Xubuntu, what we used also for the firewall configuration. And you can see I'm not connected because the default connection is, um, is set to DHCP and currently we don't have no DHCP running in our LMN network. So we have to go to edit connections and add um, a new connection here, Ethernet, create, and just give it a name, LMN. And then we go to IPv4 settings, and here we set manual. Okay, now we need to add an address, and we give one of the 10.0.0.10, for example. Our net mask is 20 and our gateway is the firewall, so 10.0.0.254. This is also the same for our DNS server. DNS server will be our server, sorry, and the search domain ad.openschoolsolutions.org. Okay, save. Good. Now we can connect to the server. We choose LMN here, and now we are connected. Good. We open our web browser. And now we can open the web interface if we enter the IP of our server. So 10.0.0.1, enter. And now our Linux Muster web interface is loaded. Okay, good. So for the very first time, we need to log in if the user root and password muster. Exclamation mark. Log in. Okay, click down save. And now the initial configuration visit is here. So we can set our system language. I leave it to English. We accept the general public license. Next. Okay, make it a little bit smaller here. Okay. Okay, now we can enter a school name. I will just use my school. Location, whatever you want. My city, state, my state, whatever where you are. Here you can select the language. It's labeled with country, but actually it's it's a language. And here we enter our server name, elementv 7 and our domain name, ad.openschoolsolutions.org. Good. Next. Here we need to set a global admin and root password. So it's important to set a secure password here because the global admin user will be the user we will use for all our configuration after the setup. Okay, next. Don't say. Okay, here, if you remember the first, very first video, we talked about um, external services and extensions you can attach to linuxmuster.net. For example, Opsi server is a server to configure um, Windows clients. We can also set up a, a Docker host or a mail server. Uh, or if you have another firewall, we don't use OpenSense, we can skip the firewall configuration. 
in our um, simple example here, we won't do any of these. So we leave everything like this and go to next. And here we can see a summary of our information we've entered. So now we can click start provisioning and the setup is then run. Just wait for it to finish. Okay, now our Linux Muster setup is finished. And it looks like we have kind of a bug or something here because normally there's like a finish button. So we just go and uh, reload the page. And here you can see now the finish button is there. Setup is completed. Finish. And now um, setup is complete. When we hit close, the web UI, the web interface is reloaded. So we have now a secure connection. And we need to keep in mind that we are not logging in with the root user again. Instead, we use the global admin account. Okay, click close. Now the web UI is restarting. And now we are connected, we have a secure connection, but self-signed certificate. So we need to accept that first. And now we can log in with our global admin. Okay, global admin. And the password we set during the setup. Okay, so our setup is done. That's all we have to do. Here we have all the different modules we will talk about in the next videos. This is a way how you can do the setup with the web interface. This is what I recommend because it's easy to do. But now I will also show you how to do the setup on the server directly. Okay, here we go. So we want to do now the setup on our server directly. So we log in again. Okay, we switch to a root shell, sudo dash i. Okay, clear this for a moment. Good, okay. And now we run the Linux Muster Linux Muster setup. And if you press uh, dash dash help, we see all the commands we can use. What we will do here, we just run Linux Muster Linux Muster setup. And then we get some questions. So our host name for server is element 7. Our AD is already here because we set up with the prepare script, openschoolsolutions.org, okay. And here we can also set up um, the DHCP range for our clients that are not registered in, in Limbo. So we keep it like it is. Here we can enter the IP address of Ops server. We don't have Opsi server right now. We leave it. We don't have an Docker host right now. Leave it empty. Uh, we don't. We won't set up a mail server yet. Okay. And here we need to enter the password for our global administrator. And again. Okay. And now the setup is running. And you see it's the same what we saw already in the web interface, same script. I'm waiting now till it's finished. And these are two ways how we can do the setup for Linux Muster.net. So we see now it's uh, waiting for our OpenSense to come up. And if you check OpenSense, we see it's currently rebooting and it will take a while until the setup can finish because it has to wait for the firewall to come up. Okay, now we can see a firewall is up again. SSH connection was successfully established. And now the Linux Muster setup finished. Okay, good. So these were two ways how we can set up the Linux Muster server. We can use the web interface, or if it's more convenient for you, you can also use the Linux Muster setup command on the server itself. If you have your own firewall and don't use OpenSend, you need to skip configuration. 
then you need to uh, use um, let me show this again you need to skip firewall or dash s um, parameter before when you run the setup okay so it looks most of the setup and then skip firewall or just dash s okay so it skips the firewall configuration that's important that's it for today we have now a running linux muscle.net server and next thing we will do is set up our users and yeah looking forward to it thank you for watching and hope to see you soon